Hello, this is Candy from eyes2jesus.blogspot.com doing a quick video. Um, I just finished exercising, so I'm actually still in my uh, exercise getup. So I'm just going to do this uh, quick review, and then I need to uh, go get cleaned up and uh, do more stuff for my to-do list. Um, this is the Franklin Covey Haley uh, binder. It's their um, newest um binder just came out. These are available on a berry red, a blue, and a green. Obviously I have the berry red. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how well the color is translating on video. Um, the pictures on the Franklin Covey website, this almost looks like a bright red. And it's not. It, um, if you think of a general lipstick color, a berry red lipstick color, that's that's very close to this. Um, it's got some purple and pink hues in the red. It is very, very pretty shade in person. Um, this thing right here, that little flower, does not come with the binder. Um, that's something I put on it as an embellishment. Um, <clears throat> so as you can see, oh, and I got the compact size. So as you can see, um, it's got these cutouts, um, black underneath, and the, this is not a painted on design. These are really cutouts. Um, and that's another thing. It just looks uh, even cooler in person than it does on video and in picture with the cutouts. Um, it's not super thick, but it is uh, thicker than my uh, daytime or portable Malibu. Um, the rings are approximately one and one third inch. This is a strange size ring. Uh, bigger than inch and a quarter, smaller than inch and a half, and it's really nice. Uh, I like it. Uh, the ring shape is similar to the ring shape in the uh, Franklin Covey Bella, and the rings are gold. Now, before we open it up, um, just a few nitpicky things. Uh, some things that bugged me that I fixed that I can tell you how to fix really quick. If you have them, they're minor issues. For one, there was a few spots, um, especially up along the edges, inside the black, where I saw a little bit of white, just a few. So that's what I, all I did is I just took out my black uniball pen and just filled in uh, the white spots. So I just checked all around the binder, and any little white spots in the black, I just filled in with my black pen. That took a few minutes. Um, the biggest thing I had to tweak a bit was this embellishment here on the snap closure. Uh, this did not come with the binder. Um, I put that there, and I'll tell you about that in a moment. <clears throat> the first thing I noticed was this gold outline here had foggy parts on it. When I looked closer, I saw, oh, there's glue residue um, on random spots on this gold frame. So the first thing I did was I just scraped off the glue residue. It came right off. All right. Uh, next, I noticed there was around the edges of this red berry color here inside the gold frame, there was occasional white spots. So I grabbed my uh, pink uniball pen and uh, it matched the shade almost exactly um, and I just uh, filled in the white spots with that pen. <clears throat> um, next there was one small divot in the faux leather in the center of uh, this whole pink area. Uh, so I just stuck a little sticker on it um, and it's cute. This is uh, kind of a somewhat metallic-y shiny flower sticker and it lays nice and flat and it's a foil sticker and it stays nice uh, and I like it I think it's cute so I decided I'm just gonna stick that sticker on there and leave it there so I did have to do some tweaking to fix up this part here if you don't like this it does seem to come off um, which I'll show you in a moment this reddish pinkish thing here inside the frame is just faux leather on paper glued in there so the first thing that I think will wear out on this uh, binder <clears throat> will be this peeling out. Um, when or if that happens, you can just remove this whole contraption or you can just re-glue it down or put in some pretty washi tape inside. So it's no big deal, quick easy fix. Uh, if you want to remove this whole part here, I've noticed the snap here, it seems to, you seem to be able to twist it. It looks like you can unscrew this and get it out of the way. And then you got two small screws there. You can use a, a eyeglasses screwdriver to remove those two screws. And I think if you remove those two screws and unscrew this, uh, this will probably slide off. Um, I haven't tried it. I don't want to remove it, but that's what it looks like. <clears throat> so 
I put all my goodies in here, uh, my full planner setup, and I am testing it. As you can see it's a little bit chunky, but it's not too fat, so it should still go into a purse easily. Uh, this one's not going to slide in and out of a purse easily because it's not a slidey leather or faux leather or vinyl because it's got the cutouts. So you can have a little bit of friction, so just be gentle if you slide it in and out of your purse so it doesn't catch. Um, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Just keep that in mind. It's not going to slide in and out like a good leather will. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'm over my cold, but um, I still get a bit of a cough after exercising because it gets my cardio going. All right, so going inside, I'm not going to give an extensive tour because um, my planner is not a whole lot different than uh, a lot of the previous tours. But you see the Haley comes with two pen loops, and these are the nice Franklin Covey pen loops that are um, leather, or in this case faux leather, and elastic on the back, so you can fit big pens in them. Uh, the interior of the Haley um, really comes across to me as kind of a, a dark pink. Um, I guess it's supposed to be the same color as the cover, but with it open, this doesn't translate as red to me at all, but more of a dark pink. But this does translate to me as a very purpley pinkish red. So I guess we have an optical illusion going on. Uh, so you have great pockets in the Haley, all right? Uh, you got a side pocket here, and in that side pocket, I stuck in this little notebook. Uh, they got these little notebooks at uh, Joann's, uh, blank pages, not lined or gridded or graphed, uh, for a dollar, and really cute, uh, goes with the Haley, and uh, it's handy to have a little notebook in there. All right, you got one, two, three, four, five credit card slots. So I just got reinforcement stickers, Avery dots, Avery labels, sticky notes, and then just a little decorative uh, Project Life card. And then uh, in the secretarial pocket, I got my stickers and cardstock with some washi tape on it. Uh, I put in a front. Now, this does come with two page lifters. Uh, they're black page lifters, but I like my clear page lifters, so I put those in instead. So this page lifter is uh, a day runner page lifter, and I like how it's clear, and it works really nice. And then I just have um, a little cover page. Uh, this is just a Project Life card where I stuck on another one of those foil flower stickers and wrote My Life Planner. And then uh, on my page here I just uh, put on my favorite Project Life card from the Cultivating a Good Life set on the back of that. So I got my family picture, still got my dashboard. I have a little flag on my dashboard so if I need to just open my planner and turn to my grocery list which is after my dashboard I can just grab the flag and it flips to my lists. And after my list papers, I still have my homemaking divider. Um, still have my uh, master schedule as a first page, but the next page is a little tab sticking out that I call minimums, and these are my minimums. And this is on a Project Life card. Uh, the tab was just a picture on it, but I cut it out and I use it as a real tab. It's, it's really cute. Uh, everything else in my um, homemaking section is still the same. So we jump over to my next divider, homeschool. Uh, homeschool section is still the same. Next divider, notes. Uh, notes section is still the same. Next divider, plans. Oh, inside notes, um, I do have a little flag sticking out now right there. Uh, that's just to bring me directly to my note paper. So when I need to grab some more blank paper, I can just flip to that little flag. All right, so plans, still the same. I flip to today slash this week. All right, so this was yesterday. This is today. And then this is a Project Life card with the to-do list on it where I'm keeping my place. And I just have it paper clipped to my... Uh, today bookmark, which is a day runner today bookmark, so that they're flipping together. Um, and then here is the other half of the week, which is mostly not filled out yet because I fill things out day by day. So tonight I will be filling out tomorrow. All right, and then after the planner section, I just have uh, this laminated scrapbook paper and I just keep extra paper clips on it and it's kind of a divider. 
uh, because behind that I have uh, three business card holder. This is Franklin Covey, uh, and I just keep post-it arrows, post-it flags, and my super big paper clip there. And then after that, I got uh, this Ziploc pocket, which is also Franklin Covey, where I just keep some extra journaling cards. Um, I like how the zip works better on day runner Ziploc pockets, but the day runners are slightly more narrow, and I can't fit journaling cards in it. So the Franklin Covey ones is a bit wider, just wide enough to fit the smaller journaling cards in it. So I have some uh, Heidi Swap and Project Life in there. And then in the back, I got another page lifter, day runner page lifter, nice and clear. <clears throat> and then uh, notepad. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this notepad is day runner, and as you can see, I've been testing out pens on it. Uh, no pockets underneath on this one. Uh, this pocket back here is roomy, so you could uh, stick in more papers or extra stickers there if you would like. Uh, the pens that I'm currently using are Uniballs. Um, this is a Uniball pink, mostly for highlighting or making things stand out. Um, oh, and a Sharpie. I did have a black uh, Uniball here, but I noticed um, if I wrote something and then I closed my planner and I didn't let it dry, then it's bled over to the next page over. So I switched to the Sharpie because the Sharpie seems to dry faster. So this is a black Sharpie. Um, it's uh, I splurged uh, a little bit of extra money and got the stainless steel. It's got some good weight to it. It's a really good high quality pen. So um, I like it. Uh, you might be wondering where my Coletto is. I'm just taking a Coletto break. I have gone through um, oh almost seven um, ink cartridges don't feel like buying anymore at the moment so I decided let's play around with a Sharpie and Uniball and I like that I can change out my pens whenever I want to. Uh, so all in all would I recommend the Haley? Uh, yes, uh, I, I think it's pretty fun. It reminds me a lot of um, the Franklin Covey 365 compact binders uh, to where they're not you know very expensive expensive to get. They are faux leather. They're not genuine leathers. They're not their high quality line, uh, but they tend to be some of the cutest binders that they sell. So the Haley reminds me a lot of some of the uh, 365 line uh, binders. Um, I did not pay full price. Uh, I, uh, I did have a discount, a 20% off discount. Um, I think the price point that the Haley is set at is, is okay. Um, but I, I think the price would be better, 20% cheaper, uh, more accurate. So just jump online, Google or Bing, and just uh, do a search for coupons and Franklin Covey. And uh, you should be able to find a 20% off coupon out there uh, that you can enter in at the checkout. Um, and I would suggest you do that. Uh, so the regular price is okay, but if you can get 20% off, I think that's more about what it's really worth. Am I going to stay in the Haley? I am for a while because I'm going to test it out and play with it. Um, but I may move back into my daytime or portable Malibu because I'm still having a lot of fun with that. What I like about the Haley is it's different. I like to have several different binder covers because just like I like to wear different dresses, I like to have different coats for my planners. So different binders, same content inside. Um, so there we go. Oh, and with my order of this Haley, not only did I get it for 20% off, but with the order they uh, sent me a catalog with a code on the front for another 20% off coupon. So if I do decide to go for the classic size, I can use that and get that 20% off. Um, so the compact size has approximately one and one third inch rings. The classic size has one and a half inch rings. And you know, in the classic, I love the one and a half inch rings. So it's tempting because if I ever want to go back to classic, it would be nice to have a one and a half inch ring Haley. So I would recommend the Haley. Uh, just be prepared if you're nitpicky like I can be to have a black pen to color in any little white spots you may find and to have a dark pink pen to color in any white spots in this and be ready to have your fingernail handy to scrape off any glue residue on the gold frame. And then, um, like I said, I stuck on the sticker because there was a little divot in the faux leather and I kept staring at it. And I like the sticker. I think it's cute. So uh, I'm going to keep that on. Uh, it, it goes. So 
that's my review of the Haley. Uh, yeah, I do suggest if you want a pretty binder, this is a good one to go for.